Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be a quick video on the new Cavalier gear set added in Year 5 Season 1 Broken Wings. I'll be showing you how to acquire this gear set and give you guys a quick overview of exactly you know, what bonuses does it give you and also uh, what it looks like. To get right into it, you get your standard six pieces of the gear set. Obviously, you don't have to wear six pieces. I'll say this now because I know someone's going to say something. You don't need six. This is for showcase purposes only. Just keep that in mind to show you guys exactly what the pieces look like on your character. Now, we're going to start off with the mask. And this mask, in my opinion, is probably one of the best ones that match with a gear set. Now, the True Patriot one is pretty cool. Same goes for the Eclipse. Uh, but if you have the glasses on and the mask, it matches pretty well. Now, for the two-piece, the three-piece, and four-piece, the two-piece, you get 30% hazard protection, which to me is awesome. I feel like a lot of people can use this on a ninja bike build and just throw one piece of this on and get 30% if they have a mod they could put on here or another roll. Essentially, if you have another roll on here, like this mask right here has skill damage, say you throw hazard protection on this, you're going to be getting 40% just from one piece. So just your mask alone, you can get 40% hazard protection uh, just from one piece. That's pretty awesome. The three piece is going to be 40 per, uh, prepare skills. So if you're making a combat healer or tank healer, I guess, um, I feel like this what this catered towards is more of tankiness and just taking a bunch of damage in combat, uh, then you probably can make a pretty cool healer with this, or at least a combat healer. I know someone's going to probably point that out. You get the four piece, which is charging. Charging for each second spent out of cover during combat, agents will get a 5% reduce incoming damage, max is 50%. And I'm not sure if that's for towards skills or gunfire or players. I'm not exactly sure. I'd like to test that and see exactly um, how that functions. You have charge. While fully charged, gain immunity to any movement speed debuff. And share this with all agents. Has protection and incoming damage reduction with all allies for 10 seconds. After charge is consumed, charging buff will resume and still in combat and out of cover. And of course, it comes with the core attribute of blue. That's pretty much on every single piece I got from the reward track were all blue, and they're pretty much blue and one red. Then you have the chest piece, which is going to be the first talent, which is overcharging. Increases charging max incoming damage protection from, or to 70%, which is from your standard uh, 50%, so you're going to be getting 70 and you have charging, which is down here, which is charging gives 10% protection per second, which is right here. So instead of the 5%, you're going to be getting the 10%. Now, with the 30% hazard protection on this, I feel like a lot of people are going to be just making, you know, straight up tank run at people builds. I don't know why I just have that feeling that that's what we're going to use this for. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. And that's going to be the chest piece in the backpack. And also, if you have the premium track, you will get the exclusive outfit which I'm currently wearing at the moment, which is the white and black tactical style outfit, which you guys can see on the left. Now, how to acquire this? The first and easy way is be, you know, by going to your rewards track. And starting at right here, which is 11, you will get the mask. 13, you get the gloves. 14, you get the holster. 16, you get the knee pads. 18, you get the chest piece. And 19, you get the backpack. Now, also, you can go to places and buy this if they are selling this. The next best way would probably be just opening the caches that you get from the season, which is like the year five, season one. You can get them this way. It has Cavalier in them. As you can see right here, you can just open one of these and pick it up for yourself. Uh, but the easiest way is just grind out the levels and you can pretty much get them that way. The reason also, by the way, I know someone's going to ask why I'm already at level 36 and it's been like an hour or two since the update's been out. Um, that's due to the fact I had leftover premium credits, so I decided to just say screw it and buy some of the levels because I wasn't going to use them for anything else. Uh, but overall, that's going to be a quick video on the new Cavalier gear set. Also, I'm not going to publish any testing on this just yet because, for one, it just came out, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be testing it um, in your own ways and seeing exactly how you like it and rolling it the way you want it and using it on hybrid builds and things like Ninja Bike. The one thing I will show you is how the buff pretty much procs. You guys can see that at the very bottom, that's how it procs. You go into cover, and then you go out of cover. A little more time for you. You can see it stacking. And then it procs just like that. So that's how the charging and the over or the charging and charged function works. And please let me know in the comment section if you you know test this a lot and you get a, a cool combo with it and tell me exactly what your opinion on opinion is on it. Sorry, I cannot speak. It is very early, by the way, uh, when you guys are watching this video. It is currently 8 a.m. So uh, I've tried to get this content very early for you guys to get a look at it because I know some people don't have a lot of time and neither do I. Uh, but overall, that's gonna be it. Thanks all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division Two content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.